Recently, an hour ago, Charlie uploaded a video about Omegle. I was on Omegle before because I wanted to like, meet new people, have a great time. But some other places, there's people out there on this platform that was absolutely disgusting, you know. I saw obscene things on there. I met great people before. But the other thing that I want to talk about is just the obscene things. Like people who have been stroking themselves, people who have masturbated this and that right in front of the camera on Omegle. And honestly, it's just one of the things that's just like disgusting. But as I saw this video, RIP Omegle, I thought it was like temporary. But as I go on the website, it actually is going that way. They are shutting down and they're gone. So they're gone now. And it's going to be um, like good because kind of things are like interesting that interest me the most is how you get to meet new people and you get to like learn from places and stuff. And it's great. I met new people. I met wonderful people on this platform. Sorry about that. But in the end, there are some people out there who just became absolutely disgusting. So let's read from here. Hold on. Sorry about that. Dear strangers, from the moment I discovered the internet at a young age, it had been a magical place to me. Growing up in a small town, relatively isolated from the larger world, it was a revelation how much more there was to discover, how many interesting people and ideas the world had to offer. As a young teenager, I couldn't just waltz into a college campus and tell a student let's debate moral philosophy i couldn't walk up to a professor and say tell me something interesting about microeconomics but online i was able to meet those people and have those conversations i was also an avid wikipedia editor i contributed to open source software projects and i often help answer programming questions posted by people many years older than me in short, the internet opened the door to a much larger, more diverse, and more vibrant world than I would have otherwise been able to experience, and enabled me to be an active participant in and contributor to that world. All of this helped me to learn and grow into a more well-rounded person. Moreover, so that. Moreover, as a survivor of childhood rape, I was acutely aware that any time I interacted with someone in the physical world, I was risking my physical body. The internet gave me a refugee for that fear. From that fear, I was under no illusion that only good people use the internet. But I knew that if I say no to someone online, they couldn't physically reach through the screen and hold weapon to my head, or worse. I saw that miles of copper wires and fiber optic tables between me and other people as a kind of shield. One that empowered me to be less isolated than my trauma and fear would have otherwise allowed. I launched Omegle when I was 18 years old. Holy shit, that's impressive. 18 years old was he launched Omegle. That's pretty cool. I wish I was like that age. <laughs> still, that's actually quite impressive for an 18 year old, you know? It's quite impressive. And still living with my parents, it was meant to build on the things I loved about the internet while introducing a form of social sponta spontaneity that I felt didn't exist elsewhere. If the internet is a manifestation of the global village, Omegle was meant to be a way of strolling down a street in that village, striking up a conversations with the people you ran into along the only way. I mean, the way. The premise was rather straightforward. How long is this exactly? It's not that long anyway. The premise was rather straightforward. When you use the... Hold on. So, I can't read all this thing over here. But basically, if you want to read it for yourself, go on Omegle.com, just read it for yourself. But in the end, 
he actually went through like things in life. I don't know about the whole story itself, but if you want to read it for yourself, go ahead. But in the end, Omega was, in my opinion, mostly good and bad. There are good people on there, there's bad people on there. I met some people who were just met and they're respectful, they're kind, they are like nice to be with and overall it's not that bad. But anyways, before I go, Omegle has been like different, you know. It's been mostly different, you know, the people that actually um criticize you and get away with it, but don't let the criticism hurt you, okay? Because it's not worth it. Gonna go now, cheers.